morning, Steve Reed in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Uh, well, it's a perfect day in Chicago weather-wise. Overnight, the uh, market's up a little bit, uh, led by wheat. Wheat's up anywhere from 11 to 12 cents. I think that's some short covering going on when Egypt announced a, a tender for wheat. Uh, obviously, that part of the world is very uh, um, mi mixed up and in, in unrest. And this is the first tender maybe since February that Egypt's had. So we'll be kind of watching. Uh, black sea prices in uh, the former Soviet Union are cheaper than the U.S., but we'll see what kind of uh, results come from uh, that tender. Uh, overnight, USDA increased crop ratings, um, two percentage in both corn and beans. Uh, obviously, they're rated above a year ago at this time, and for the most part, uh, rated close to the five-year average. Uh, the weather over the next two weeks looks to be a mixture of Maybe normal temps and normal precip, except maybe in the southwest corner of the Midwest where it could be drier than normal. Uh, some feel that over the next two weeks you could see a, a continued increase in overall crop rating. Uh, from a weather standpoint, uh, two weeks look good. Um, obviously going into the 4th of July weekend, historically that's been a pretty volatile um, time for the market. Good weather, prices go lower. Uh, if there's a change from a good pattern to a bad pattern, prices go a lot higher. So you could see some short covering today. Um, corn's up uh, anywhere from two to five cents and beans anywhere from five to six cents. So we're seeing a, a little turnaround Tuesday from the recent sell-offs, uh, especially in the corn market. Overall, um, we expect a weather market from here out for the next two weeks, so we're watching pretty close, which uh, could add to the volatility in the marketplace. Without a change in the weather, there's really no need for new crop corn, beans, wheat uh, to rally from these current levels, and the trend could be lower uh, if the weather is, is good. We shut down tomorrow here at the grain markets at noon, and then uh, we don't reopen until um, Friday morning at 8.30 a.m., so we'll hopefully you have a safe and uh, good 4th of July holiday. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.